Hey people, I'm back with another 7 marker question. Classify pigmented lesions of oral mucosa. Write in detail about exogenous pigmentation. It is a very important question in your final exams in the subject of oral medicine and radiology. Starting with the classification, according to source, it can be divided into extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic sources are the drug metabolites, heavy metals, chromogenic bacteria, carotene, and ornamental tattoos. Intrinsic sources are melanin, hemoglobin, hemosiderin, lipofusin, porphyrin, bilirubin, and bilirubin. Pigmented lesions can also be divided into endogenous and exogenous. Endogenous can be further divided into blue, red or purple and brown, black or grey according to the colour of the lesion. The blue, red or purple lesions can be hematoma, petechi, purpura, echimosis, hemochromatosis, varix, hemangioma and arterovenous malformation. Brown, black or grey lesions can be physiologic, freckle, aphylides, lentigenes, Melanotic macule, melanoacanthoma, drug or hormone or habit associated, post inflammatory pigmentation, hyperthyroidism, biliary cirrhosis, B12 deficiency, Pubstegor syndrome, cafe ole, HIV associated, Cushing's disease or Addison's disease. And exogenous lesions can be due to drug metabolites, heavy metals, chromogenic bacteria, carotene and ornamental tattoos. Pigmentation. It can be defined as a pigment produced outside the human body. Exogenous substances cause oral mucosal pigmentation because these substances are embedded in the oral tissues either by direct trauma or hydrogenic implantation. Here is a table given in Burkitt describing the sources of exogenous oral and perioral pigmentation. If the source is metal, then it can be due to hydrogenic causes, medications or environment. Example of such lesions can be amalgam tattoo, chrysiasis, black tongue, heavy metal pigmentation. Then if the source is graphite or ink, then the etiology can be trauma, factitious, or tribal customs. Example of such lesion is graphite tattoo. Bacteria can also cause pigmentation due to poor oral hygiene or antibiotics. Example of which is hairy tongue. Drug complexes um, like certain medications like minocycline induced pigmentation, then plant derivatives due to factitious causes or tribal customs, examples of which are ornamental tattoo and orange mouth. Amalgam tattoo. It is a grey, blue or black area of discoloration on the mucous membranes of the mouth, typically on the gums of the lower and upper jaws, also called as focal argyrosis. These are hydrogenic in origin and typically a consequence of the inadvertent deposition of amalgam restorative material into the submucosal tissue. About the lesion, the lesions are typically small, asymptomatic, macular and bluish grey or even black in appearance. The lesions are often found in the vicinity of teeth with large amalgam restorations or crown teeth that probably had amalgams around the apical region of endodentically treated teeth with retrograde restorations or obturated with silver points and in areas in and around healed extraction sites. Oral manifestations include increased salivation as mercury is increased in saliva. Tongue may be enlarged and painful. Painful tongue is also called glossodynia. There may be hyperemia and swelling of gingiva, ulcerative stomatitis, loosening and exfoliation of teeth. Histopathology shows large aggregates of black material and could result in a foreign body type giant cell granulomatous inflammation. Investigation can be done using dental radiographs. Treatment includes surgical removal, that is a two-stage surgical approach 
sub epithelial connective tissue graft followed by laser surgery to eliminate an amalgam tattoo however since amalgam tattoos are innocuous their removal is not always necessary particularly in the absence of radiographic evidence of amalgam differential diagnosis can be melanotic macule nevus and melanoma thinking about the graphite tattoo they are unusual source of focal exogenous pigmentation they are most commonly seen on the palate and gingiva they are caused due to dramatic implantation of graphite particles from a pencil the lesions may be indistinguishable from amalgam tattoos often presenting as a solitary gray or black macule since the traumatic event often occurs in childhood many patients may not report a history of injury thus a biopsy is often warranted microscopically graphite particles resemble those of amalgam treatment is excisional incision the incineration method was used as a differential diagnosis for the histopath examination dd includes amalgam tattoo and melanoma the ornamental tattoo dye injected into dermis is phagocytosed by macrophages which are permanent image however does fade over time complications include infections introduced at the time of tattooing cutaneous diseases that localize in tattoos often in a coagnotype phenomenon allergic reactions to tattoo pigments and photosensitivity reactions it may cause lymphadenopathy which usually resolves spontaneously melanoma patients should be questioned regarding history of tattoos particularly prior to sentinel node treatment histologic confirmation of melanoma in nodes is necessary to avoid unnecessary surgery treatment can be done using laser therapy mercury poisoning it can be because of acute or chronic exposure of mercury vapors clinical features include gastric disturbances diarrhea excitability headache and mental depression Oral manifestations include increased salivation as mercury is excreted in saliva. Tongue may be enlarged and there may be glossodynia. Hyperemia and swelling of gingiva, ulcerative stomatitis, loosening and exfoliation of teeth. Acrodynia, also called swift disease, aka pink disease, is idiosyncratic reaction to large doses of amalgam. It is an uncommon mercury toxicity reaction in which skin is also involved. It usually occurs after ingestion of mercury from from powder, ammoniated mercury ointment, or calomel lotion. It is mainly seen in the children below age of five to six years. Manifestations are widespread, involving the hand, feet, nose, and cheeks, basically the extremities. which become red or pink in color cold and clammy like a raw beef skin may have maculopapular rashes with pruritus patient may complain of irritability photophobia and muscular weakness children may be able to remove their hair in patches oral manifestations include profuse salivation painful gingiva ulcerations on gingiva teeth may become loose and exfoliate and bruxism is a common finding treatment for mercury poisoning includes reduced exposure gastric lavage with 250 ml of sodium formaldehyde sulfoxylate 5 to 10% sulfoxylate and 5% sodium bicarbonate is used for stomach wash of which 200 ml should be left in stomach the goal of treatment is to remove the mercury and correct any fluid or electrolyte imbalances Hemodialysis with and without the addition of L-cysteine as a chelating agent can be used. Dimercaprol is effective in treating inorganic mercury poisoning. D-penicillamine and vitamin B1 given parenterally. Lead poisoning or plumbism is an occupational hazard seen in plumbers due to acute or chronic exposure because of inhalation of lead vapors or dust it is also seen among the children who chew wood painted with lead 
Oral manifestations include linear bluish black discoloration seen on the marginal gingiva called the Bertonian line, gingivitis, ulcerative stomatitis, excessive salivation, metallic taste, or rarely bismuth may get deposited in the deciduous teeth too. Arsenic poisoning, also called arsenical keratosis, the oral manifestations include increased salivation, gingivitis, and oral ulcerations. The condition can be managed by removing the offending agent followed by gastric lavage and chelation therapy with D. penicillamide. Bismuth poisoning. Oral manifestations include a bismuth line, which is a bluish black line and marginal gingiva confined to the gingival papilla. Bismuth may react with hydrogen sulfide produced by the bacteria to form bismuth sulfide that gets precipitated around periphery of an ulcer or erupting molar. Burning sensation and metallic taste in the mouth can be found. Silver poisoning, also called ergyria, is a condition caused by excessive exposure to chemical compounds of the element silver or to silver dust. Local ergyria shows in limited regions of the body such as patches of skin, parts of the oral mucosa or the conjunctiva. The most traumatic symptom of ergyria is that the skin turns blue or blue-gray. There is currently no cure for ergyria but recent research indicates that laser therapy using the quality switch laser may improve skin discoloration. Differential diagnosis can be exogenous onchronosis, chrysiasis, or hemochromatosis. Drug-induced pigmentation. There are various drugs that can induce pigmentation like bleomycin, clofazimine, chloroquine, chlorpromazine, doxorubicin, cyclophosphamide, estrogen, 5-fluorouracil, hydroxychloroquine, ketoconazole, minocycline, tetracycline, and zidovutin. Many medications when taken over a long period of time can cause oral mucosal pigmentation. Drug-induced pigmentation can be due to increased synthesis and accumulation of melanin pigments, deposition of the drug or its metabolized into the oral tissues or deposition of iron after damage to the dermal vessels. Chloroquine and other quinine derivatives which are usually used in the treatment of malaria and cardiac arrhythmias can cause pigmentation of oral tissues due to a direct stimulating effect on the melanocytes. According to some of the studies, these drugs usually cause pigmentation of the palatal tissues. Minocycline is another drug causing pigmentation of oral tissues. It is a synthetic tetracycline that is used in the treatment of acne vulgaris. Tetracycline causes pigmentation of only bones and teeth, but minocycline also causes pigmentation of soft tissues. It usually causes diffuse brownish discoloration of hard palate, gingiva, mucous membranes, and tongue. Oral pigmentation can also be due to intake of birth control pills. Cloasma is the term which is used to describe periosal and periorbital pigmentation in such patients. The pigmentation usually occurs as a diffuse brown macular pigmentation which is asymptomatic and lesions resolve upon cessation of drug intake. These lesions usually occur due to the hormonal changes which influence melanocyte stimulation. Imatinib, a tyrosine kinase inhibitor used for the treatment of chronic myeloid leukemia, has the potential to induce mucosal pigmentation. About few important drugs which cause pigmentation. Anti-malarial drugs like chloroquine induce a blue-gray or blue-black pigmentation over the heart palate. Melanin production is stimulated by melanocytes. They are reversible. That is, the pigmentation goes away after the cessation of the drugs. Tetracycline forms bands over to the surface. They form tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complexes during the period of tooth development. 
but after the eruption of permanent teeth there is lack of free calcium available to form these tetracycline complexes hence it doesn't cause discoloration of erupted permanent teeth minocycline however stains the alveolar mucosa especially in the maxillary anterior region that's it for now thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel stay tuned for further videos